Italy is also trying to reduce the chances that its coronavirus outbreak already the worst in Europe will spread further. Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte imposed more stringent measures that have just come into effect at midnight local time. Virtually all commercial activity in the country will come to a halt as businesses excluding supermarkets, food stores and pharmacies will be shuttered. And that's on top of an existing clampdown on public gatherings and travel. Se saremo tutti a rispettare queste regole, usciremo più in fretta da questa emergenza. Il Paese ha bisogno della responsabilità di ciascuno di noi, della responsabilità di 60 milioni di italiani che quotidianamente compiono piccoli, grandi sacrifici per tutta la durata di questa emergenza. Siamo parte di una medesima comunità. Ogni individuo si sta giovando dei propri ma anche degli altrui sacrifici but Italy has recorded an alarming 31% spike in death toll and the largest jump in fatality since the country's outbreak began. And the death toll is now at 827. An Italian medical chief is the latest to die of the infection. 67-year-old Roberto Stella was the head of the medical association in Barassi, a province in the Lombardy region. Well, the number of confirmed cases across the country rose by more than 2,300. The current total of new cases is at over 12,000. It is also the highest daily increase in absolute terms registered globally since the virus emerged on mainland China at the end of last year. Italy remains the worst hit country after China. Elsewhere in Europe, infections in Spain jumped to over 2,300, a rise of more than 600 in 24 hours. Uh, there were 49 recorded deaths in the country. Meanwhile, Germany warns of worse to come as the number of people who tested positive soared to 1,900, including three deaths. Well, even as pledges to do what is necessary, uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel gave a grim estimate. The virus is likely to infect two-thirds of the country. Well, French health authorities reported 15 new coronavirus deaths overnight, bringing the country's death toll to 48. The total number of confirmed cases stands at 2,281, an increase of nearly 500 cases from Tuesday. Before the latest in the battle against the coronavirus in Italy, let's uh, talk now to Sima Gupta, who is joining us from Rome. We're just past midnight. Uh, Sima, even more drastic measures taking root on top of the lockdown. What can you tell us? restaurants as well as even hairdressers basically being told they've got to close they're only focusing now in allowing essential services to remain open so that includes supermarkets food shops pharmacies as well as banks and post offices transport will continue to run industry and farming will be allowed to continue but with restrictions basically the authorities are saying stay indoors unless it's absolutely necessary. The Prime Minister making very clear that all these sacrifices and all these measures will only see an impact in another two weeks. So Italians really have to buckle down to this. For the most part, we've seen at least within these first two days of the lockdown, most people seem to be agreeing that they have to take do their part in order to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. And Seema, speaking of essential services, talk to us about the severity of what the frontline healthcare workers are seeing, because I believe the doctors are sending a warning worldwide to their colleagues uh, and uh, the situation. When you take a look at the numbers, I mean, they're actually quite frightening. Yes, uh, the doctors, particularly those up north that are working with the main clusters and particularly in the Lombardy region, uh, we've been hearing very dramatic stories from them about a, a very dire situation, how they are working nonstop till exhaustion. Uh, one doctor in Bergamo in Lombardy, he talked about the hospital being at 200% capacity. They're dealing with what he described as a tsunami of the number of patients coming in. And it's really hard to cope. When they find a respirator available, it's like finding gold. They're working with the resources they, they have. And unfortunately, they have to make the decisions as to who gets to live and who doesn't. So it's a really hard battle 
that they are fighting is those are the words they're using analogous to wars uh, and uh, these are the stories that Italians are reading and finding up about and these doctors are taking to social media as well as the media here in Italy to tell their stories to stress to the Italians please take these measures seriously we need to prevent the same situation taking place in the rest of the country or for the situation to get even worse so really as i mentioned for the moment everyone's buckling down as the one of the polls showed that something like 89% of italians agree with these basic measures clearly uh, understanding the seriousness of the situation mm.